Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick upgrade on our TRD Off-Road Tacoma. We're going to be upgrading the grill to the TRD Pro grill with the Raptor light. Okay. okay, so this is what we're going to be installing and this is what we currently have. We got this off of somebody that already had it for $180. I'm not sure how much they retail for but if you can find something around that price i think that's a pretty good price for this quick um upgrade it already had the lights installed um but i'm pretty sure it's a really easy install i can see if we can take them off and then reinstall them for anybody who does do need a tutorial enough. on that so they we'll go ahead and do that really quick they have these i'll just uh, lay down top of my box they actually just pop in with these clips right here That was pretty in there. So it has these like little yeah. clips right yeah. here. They just and they pop, pop in. out and then they pop back in. Yeah. And that's it. And they just pop in. Alrighty. Well, let's and get then, right into the installment. And then they have these little plugs. But you just have to just plug them in. And then they're zip tied to there. Did you do that or yeah, did I it did come this. like that? I did this. Okay. So he was ahead of us a little bit. Yeah, I adjusted them a little bit because they were all messy. Just so that it's nice and clean, he tightened them down with zip ties, and then they come out from the corner over here. Yeah, this is where you connect to the fuse box. So we're going to be using for our tools, um, some tools out of the Husky 60-piece um, Universal Mechanics tool set. Um, That's it. So this is how to take off your existing grill. There's two bolts, one right here and one right here. We're gonna take these off. Can you, is it not too dark? Okay, you can see. So I don't know if you guys heard him, but he said it has two bolts, one on the right and one on the left, and we're gonna use our handy dandy tool. I'm just kidding, what is the tool called? The wrench, a car wrench? Ratchet. A ratchet? I think it's a ratchet. Whatever that tool's called. Make sure to set them aside. We don't want to lose anything. Okay. Which size did you use? Because you didn't tell us that either. It doesn't have the size. Yes, it is a. It just has a ten. It's a ten. So it has this little clip here. It has a little clip. Okay. You pinch it, so it comes out. That's for your, for this little thing here. Like a sensor? Yeah, I'm not sure what it's for. Uh, it is, yeah, the sensor, the TSS. What stops you when you're getting close to a car? So sensor, let's unplug it. Okay, well, I'm gonna let them know how to unplug it. So yeah, once I figure it out, okay. you just push down, push, and it comes oh, out. So we're gonna use a flat screw to pop these out. These little clips. It's real simple. You st stick it on this little circle thing. It just co comes right off. It has four of these. Two here. Can you see? Yeah. One here and then the other one here. Mhm. Mm and then there's two more on the bottom that you have to pop out. Do you know like oh, well, like on, on the bottom of the grill? Yeah, on the bottom of the grill. Oh, shit. Oh, it's recording still. Can't press it. Do you take it off? Yeah. And there's another one. We're going to do the same to both sides. So that counts four. I think. That's oh, it. it. 
that's it so now we're popping it off yeah, let me just tell them what off. really quick what year it is this is the 2020 in case you guys are wondering um i'm sure not all the models are made the same but this one right here is a 2020. yep he's ready yeah he's ready should come off hello that was easy that was easy so this is what we gotta switch that to the new girl okay and you should have a total of six screws left on the side all right so now you have to install that girl into that or the yeah so the next step we're gonna lay it down flat we're gonna lay this down Right, we're gonna pop this out. So he's popping the sen the sensor holder out on this side. I should probably use the screwdriver. Okay. No same here. We're gonna do the same thing over here. You try not to damage it, but I don't have that special tool. So I'm just gonna use this, what we have. Probably won't even end up using this clip. All right. I'm gonna grab my drill. Alright guys, so with a Phillips, you're going to remove these four screws here, so this could come off. I hope I'm not missing a, a step. I don't think so. There's three clips. Be careful with those. These are just clips, so they don't really matter as long as I don't damage this wire. All right, guys. This Grab is your the TSS. It's called the TSS. This is what breaks when there's a car in front of you, your sensor. All right, we're gonna put this to the side. Don't forget to put your screws to the we're side. We're gonna need that. You guys save these. You're gonna need these. These two here, you're gonna use them on the other grill. All right. What's next is, all right, we're gonna pop the old grill out like this. So we'll oh, have no. some clips. Actually, you have to take all these little screws out. There's like 10 of them. You should put those away before. You better not fuck it up, Lalo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think someone actually did their homework today. I'm just real bad at explaining, guys. That's why we have Samantha here. It's not that bad though, isn't so it? So she can explain to you guys. Is it? Is or is it bad? It's not that I don't think it's that bad, Sweeney. It's not bad. Alright, there's one right here. I don't know if you no. guys I need a, a fucking knee. So we're just gonna go around the whole thing, take all the screws off. Come here, 
it's taking off so far. You kept count? No. You haven't kept count? I hope you're putting them all in one spot. Oh so you my can put god. Them count them. So now he's gonna take the clips off or attempt to take the clips off in one side. Yeah. I am a little bit sideways because I don't want to be in his space. He's trying to see something down there. It's going to keep hopping back in. It doesn't have screws up there? Because I think it does. One, two, three, four. So he, 11, so 12. far. So far well, he has 10 and he has two more screws to take off. I do think that there is more screws that are in this, but he says no. I'm not sure if I have to take all the ones on the top. I don't think so though. It's like a different part of the grill. I just gotta take these off. I actually didn't have to take that one off. Oh, it is kind of out from that side already. If I don't lift it, there we go. Okay. Oh, That doesn't sound good. <laughs> there we go. It's stuck on that one. All right, you guys. Can you grab it? Can you reach? I'm gonna remove this one. It's actually kind of like hefty. Like it's not light. I thought it was gonna be light. Mm -hmm. You're gonna end up with this. Coffee break. Oh no, we don't take breaks here. It hasn't been five hours since you've been on the job. All right, so now we're gonna be putting our sensor on our new grill. Are right, you guys are gonna use these? Remember, I told you guys to save these and insert them here. What way are you inserting them? Oh, the square bottom, the square part towards the bottom on both sides. Slide right in. See that? And then we just set this here like this. This is there. This is perfect. Put this screw on. What screw is it? These big. The black screws that you took off the other one. Pretty much installing it the same way you took it off. You don't want to put it too tight. And then you put these, this little screw on top here. I think that's it. Those don't clip on? Mm-mm. Uh, so yeah, I think they clip right clip there, here, but... And this one on top. Yeah, I don't need to keep this one. We'll see well, after I put it on. Or you can scoot it over over there. Yeah, but I think this one will be fine. Just this one here. So he's only going to be clipping one. And then um, this one goes right there. And he's going to be installing that. So I'm only going to clip this one here. This one, I'll probably cut it off. Chop it off. We'll see if I don't need it. That's it. Alright, so what's next? Can we clip it back? Alright guys, hold on. Why don't you lay it there or are you going to flip it on forward? Okay. This is in the inside. I'm sure your wires are in the inside. Okay. Oh 
shit. What? One more thing, guys. Thank you. All right, guys, this is called the garnish. This goes here. So that's going to protect our sensor and also give the sensor just, power, I guess? No, it just looks like a cover. It just snaps right in. Okay, so it's a sensor cover, my bad. Yeah. There you go. It's a pretty, it's pretty clean. Needs a little clean, but... But, I mean, the grills, they get, they're going to get messed up. I mean, this, this is where everything hits mm -hmm. when you're driving. At first, I was cool. So it should snap right on. Yeah. So what he's doing, he's gonna readjust the wire onto the clip zip tight thingy. So I need to like. Uh, I actually don't have to. I think it should though. I just leave it like that. It, it clips now, doesn't it? Like that. Actually, I just clipped the bottom one. I clipped this one here. So he's clipping the bottom one. I don't think that is a clip. No? Mm -mm. I think it was. I think it clips right here. There's a clip right there. Oh, right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll leave that one. Okay, maybe I should be a grill installer. <laughs> that won't be in the way, but you're fine. Here. That one clips yeah. there. Stretch it. Didn't stretch. Alright, whatever. Well, if it's stretching, fix it. I don't want to mess anything up, but it That's looks it. like it fits. Is that it? Yeah, now put the screws back on. Oh, I almost forgot that stuff. That's why you're here. Make sure I don't forget anything. I need like a beach chair, please, or this won't work out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want it to be on the bubble wrap. Well, I hope that everyone is doing good on this COVID-19 thing. Um, you guys, I hope it's almost over. We are like about a month and a half or two in already. His confused face. What the hell? Could have sworn it had 10 screws. This one takes less screws, guys. It only had two, look. One, two. Okay, one, two, and then he put this one back because he didn't actually need to take that one off. You're gonna have eight screws left over of these little ones. Are you ready? Yeah. So now it's time to see the finished product and then to um, put those wires onto the fuse, cover it back up, and connect the sensor back up. Pretty simple. All right, babe. Can you help me with something? Come here. I think the bottom one goes in here. Right there, huh? Yeah. This is what it looks like. Nice. So I'm gonna put these four clips back. So we're going to the one at the down there. Yeah, on the bottom first. All right. They should just clip back in. Remember not to leave any tools in here because I found this in there. I don't know. It's crazy. What hotel to go for? Huh? Yeah, they're so small. 
And this camera is hot. It's not even summer yet. Here, let's tighten it. Which ones are you using? So he's using the big black bolt screws, whatever. Same screw. And he's gonna screw it back there. Using his ratchet. I probably should screw it in front of my hand. You always screw it in first by hand. Fuse back? Uh, oh. Or the sensor? You guys don't forget to plug your sensor. Where'd it go? Alright. Where? Here. So he's pulling it from the bottom. Remember that little clip we pushed? Push mm -hmm. it back up. And then it clips right on. To there. And voila. Alright. Now. You gotta run this wire through whatever, whatever you think Where are you best. gonna put your wire through? Here. He's just putting it through this little thing. He has an opening on that side. And right here. then... Oh, I kinda wanna leave this. Is this covered part? Mm -hmm. All the way. Should have put tape on it. Okay, to this little opening. Going through there. I'll probably zip tie it somewhere around. Going across the fuse boxes right there. So we have to remove this bolt and ground our black there. This is gonna go here, and we're gonna add a, a add-on fuse to this red. So the black has to stay here, and the red has to go all the way across. Yeah. But I'm thinking about slitting this this protector thing for the wire. I'm passing the black through there and so I don't won't cut this. I don't know if you guys understood me, but hopefully I don't splice it down. Yeah, I did a sample. But the question is, is the adapter gonna fit? Yeah, it'll fit. You force it on. All right, I did this, so the black can stay here. Stay here, and then the red can keep going with the with the protecting thing on there. All right, you ready? Exactly where it's gonna go, so it won't move anymore. Ever 
be able to reuse it. Alright guys, come on. He's putting on another adapter. I'm using the handy dandy tool to squeeze it together. Oh shit. That should hold up. As soon as it grabs. There we go. Alright guys, here goes our ground. Okay, so just to finish this off, we actually were able to put the red wire through under a fuse that we unclipped and then we clipped back. Um, and now we're just gonna plug it in. He used the, what amp did you use? A 10 amp. He used a 10 the, amp? The videos I've watched, they said to use a 10 amp and a 15 amp and plug it here on the, on this, on this one right here, hold on right here but yeah this is basically it for the video i am about to make dinner so i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys for watching once it's on at night and we'll show you guys once it's on at night and see you guys in the next video bye